My name is Wesley Deeds III. I grew up fifth generation Ivy League graduate, groomed by my father to be a businessman, groomed by my mother to be a gentleman. I was told what I would be doing for the rest of my life. My life is perfect. Wow, you're striking. Thank you, likewise. The whole operation. <laughs> Um, so the film was great. I cried a lot through it, oh, which I wasn't expecting. Tell me the parts you cried. Um, you know what? Honestly, I was crying the whole time. I was crying. Sandy really got me because of what her character was going through. Your yeah. character, Tyler Perry, everybody's character because it was kind of like, you know, you have this idea of, of who you want to be or who you should be. Mm -hmm. And then you get there and you're like, well, gosh, you know, this isn't who I, who I, who I'm going to be or who I want to be. Um, tell me about what it was about your character and her struggles with those kind of things that made you want to play the role. Well, A, I love that they didn't make her into the typical bitch, you know, which mm. in these kinds of, you know, romantic comedy dramas, somebody has to be the villain because you have to want to root for somebody. And he didn't make it that easy for us. Yeah. He, he played out a relationship as real. You know, two people who look good on paper, who have everything going for them, who are good people, but maybe don't have that thing that says lifetime, forever, yeah. happiness. What I thought was you know. interesting is how um, you guys broke up, but you still really loved each other. Well, and that's, that's how, how it is in real life. Be. It's how it should be. You know, like what you have to remember why you fell in love with the person in the beginning, the love and the respect that you have for them, their families, their experience, and take that into whatever happens, yeah. you know, the good and the bad. So in the beginning, if you have that love and respect, you should have it mm -hmm. if in chance, you know, well, by chance it comes to both the Both your end. characters, they had a lot of love for each other, but it wasn't enough. Do you think in relationships that just love is enough? Hell no. <laughs> love gets you to the party. You know what I mean? Yeah. Love doesn't fill your cup. Love doesn't ask you to dance. Love doesn't, you know, make sure you get home safely and kiss mm -hmm. you on the doorstep. Love just gets you to the party. You know, you have to have more. Mm -hmm. um, there has to be great communication. There has to be that passion, that thing that makes you want to have adventures with have this the person. Heat. <laughs> the heat. No, you need no, the heat. No pun intended. <laughs> you have to have the heat. Exactly. <laughs> um, now, you've worked with Tyler Perry before. Yes. So, obviously, you guys have a good camaraderie and, and a good chemistry. Yeah. Tell us about your relationship with him and um, why you chose, why you continue to choose to work with him. Because um, he continues to choose to work with me and that feels so good um, to be wanted um, and to not be put through the 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 BS of the crazy auditionings and the you know people want to you know make you jump through hoops and barrels um, and he just respects what you bring to the table and once you're in that family that Tyler Perry family mm -hmm. not to quote you know, basketball wise, once you're in the circle, <laughs> you are a factor, you know, and you stay a factor. And he, his goal is to put everyone in their best possible light and to make sure everyone shines and make sure, you know, that everyone has opportunity. I mean, he resurrects careers, he, he mm -hmm. creates stars. Um, so I'm just happy that he's embraced me in the family and he's very, very generous. You talked about the, the, the ordeal of having to audition and, and go through all those kind of things that you as actor, actors deal with. You've had such a long, um, a, a, a long career that's been very steady. You've, I, I always see you in, in movie after movie consistently. Do you still worry about getting roles and, and have anxiety as an actor, being as successful as you are even now? Yeah, because you never know when the last one is. You know, like if you, I've met, I, I, uh, I go to the, where I go to the doctor, they have um, the motion picture um, retirement you know, home. So you have all of these great actors from our golden time. And, you know, when I talk to them as I'm waiting, you know, um, as I write out my copay payment, um, you know, it was like, what was your last movie? Did you know it was your last movie? And they're like, you never think it's gonna end. So you, you're taking each job, maybe not realizing the importance and maybe not appreciating it because you just never know when that last job is. So I take every job as, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Let me save. Well, um, I think you have a long time until that happens. <laughs> that's what they thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, thank you so much. No. It was amazing.